An independent review has condemned the use of shackling and sedation to control mental health patients in hospital emergency departments. KPMG describes the practice as a human rights issue. The government looked to auditors KPMG to diagnose its mental health issues. The review found the system acutely unwell, declaring the use of shackling and sedation a serious human rights issue that is not well documented or reported in emergency departments. I see it as a serious human rights issue too, of course. Uh, we can't, it's not good enough. KPMG says mental health patients are staying too long in emergency departments, a situation that has progressively worsened over the past four years. Last financial year, the average length of stay in an ED was more than 13 hours, with an average of 36 patients a week staying longer than 24 hours. The longer someone is stuck in an ED who is acutely unwell, the more likelihood they will deteriorate. That's Everyone acknowledges that. KPMG spoke to clinicians who described shackling and sedation as a hidden statistic, with reporting of restraint often only captured in clinical notes. It found a culture of adapting to issues and accepting them with a lack of outrage amongst all groups interviewed. The report says there are enough mental health beds across the system, but health units working in isolation are delaying admissions to acute beds in wards or intermediate care centres. The government has already acted, promising a new mental health leadership structure and a review of the bed management system. It's also committed to reducing the average length of stay for what it calls acute medium stay patients to 12 and a half days, a two day improvement. The minister has already pledged that from next year, no mental health patients should have to wait longer than 24 hours in an ED. Angelique Dinellon, ABC News, Adelaide.